Hey YouTube, this is Techsavvy Solution here. I'm here with a video response to my Froyo customization tutorial. Uh, this is a this is a response to correct some of the mistakes that I made. And first, I want to thank Vortex Sixteen A, YouTube user, um, for letting me know of my errors. We're all human, so we all make errors. But in this case, I got to go correct mine. So the first error that I made is at 7 minutes and 44 seconds of my video I showed you guys how to hide file extensions but I told you guys to check the wrong uh, selection it doesn't hurt your computer or anything but it doesn't really solve the problem of showing the file extension so what you want to do instead is check the hide the uncheck hide file extensions hide extensions for known file types so you would still go through the same process of searching file extensions and selecting the show hide file extensions and instead of selecting show hidden files folders and drives you can if you want but it won't solve the problem you uncheck hide extensions for known file types and that will solve the problem so thanks Vortex Another question that he brought up was if I have tried the JPH firmware yet. That's the newest Froyo firmware as of this video, but they come up, the new firmware updates come out fairly quickly. But you go to the SAM firmware website and you can download the JPH firmware and it's the same password, the same pit, same process that you could follow my customization guide to still flash it. Oh, to answer this question, I have not tried it, but you can if you want. Just do not select repartition when you're flashing the firmware. And the good news is, with the new firmware, there's also the new update to the ROM, the Rombi ROM. Instead of version 2, it's version 2A, and that's compatible with this firmware. So now you, that you have a ROM that's compatible with the newest JPH firmware, you can go ahead and flash that, and instead of flashing the ROMB version 2 ROM, you can flash the ROMB version 2A, instead of JPC, you flash JPH, so it's pretty much the same steps that I showed in my video, except with newer firmwares and newer ROMs. So thanks again to Vortex16A, and I'll see you guys later on the next video review or tutorial. Thanks again.